Welcome to another one of Champion Solutions Group's Big Fix videos. In this episode, we're going to talk about baselines and patching. So you got your Big Fix system installed, you got a few endpoints that you've put out there, your relays are all set up, you've been in the console, now you're saying what's next. If you're like most organizations, you haven't had a great handle on patch management at this point, and some tool like Big Fix is going to show you where all your patches are missing. So if we walk into the Big Fix console, go into the Patch Management Overboard dashboard, we're going to notice we have thousands of patches that are applicable to our organization. How do we start ourselves creating these patches? Well, that's what we're going to do next, is go into the Big Fix Patching Wizard. Navigate inside your console, and let's find the Big Fix Labs domain. Click on that. And if we'll notice right down here, we have the patching tools. And inside the patching tools, we have the wizard for the patching wizard. As the screen comes up, you're going to notice here that we have our sites. Our site selected as patches for Windows. And the default year is 2015. I'm going to change this to the year of 2014. And I'm going to select every month from that year to begin my baseline. So simply move your mouse and click and select all of the months that you want a big fix wizard to search for patches from this patch site. Once we have all of our months selected, I'm going to move to the top right and click the next button. It'll start processing patches at this point. Next, you want to hit on applicable computer column, sort them by that. And so that, that way we're only grabbing patches that are applicable to our machines or in our environment at this time. The other thing I'm going to do is use a filter here. And I'm only going to look for critical patches. So I'm going to create a baseline of 2014 for critical patches. So if you notice, we're only looking at critical, and obviously we're only going to start selecting machines or patches that have applicability to them, meaning they are applicable in our environment at this point. Now that we've selected only the patches that have applicable computers to them, again, we'll go up to the top of the screen on the top right hand side and we'll click the next button. The next button is going to give us the opportunity to copy these patches into one of our sites. And in this case, I'm going to use our testing site, which we do for PCI compliancy, that we test our patches. There are some other options here. In this case, I don't have multiple languages in my systems, so I don't need to set any of those things at this point. Two of the other options I definitely want to set is to copy the fixlets to the custom site and to build our baseline. So I have those selected. And now at this point, again, top right hand side, I can hit the next button and have the wizard start processing our patches. Once you hit the next button, it'll show you the selected fix that you have. You can validate that you're copying them to the site you want to copy them to, build a baseline. And in this case, I'm not starting an action at this point. Again, click next. The wizard has completed. It's created our baseline in our site. And now we can go validate that it's there. And we're going to change our settings to all content, open up the sites, go into our custom sites that we've created, and we're going to look for our PCI testing site where we copied our fixlets and baseline to. There we select it, we'll look at the fixlets, we see that the fixlets have been copied over, and we can also check that the baseline is there as well. And clicking on baselines, we see that our baseline is there. I am going to make a couple edits to this baseline before we continue. So once we have the baseline selected, we hit edit. First thing I'm going to do is change the name of it a little bit. The wizard kind of puts that long name in of all the months. Uh, I'm going to shorten this down. We know they're Windows patches from 2014. And we've also only selected the critical ones. So I'm going to make that change. And again, since we're testing our baseline before we would put it in production, I am also going to call this test as far as the baseline is concerned, just so everybody knows it's a test baseline. We can keep the description where it is. Don't really need to edit that too, too much. However, the only other thing I'll do is I will put this in the patch management domain just to make sure things are in the right location. It really wouldn't affect Big Fix as far as working, but I just like to keep it clean. Now, what are the other things that we should do while we're running a baseline for patches? Well, if I was working on servers, I would want to do a VM snapshot if possible, but let's assume maybe we're doing desktops. So I have this great little fixlet that will create a system restore point. So what we want to do here is add this to our baseline. That's a very simple fixlet, and it basically will work on with System 7, System 8, and it calls a VB script to make a system restore point. Might as well do that before we actually patch the machine. So right-click on the Create System Restore Point. Click the down, down here to Add to Existing Baseline. 
find the baseline we just created and we notice we can add it to this baseline. So we'll review the components of our baseline and obviously we probably want to move the create system restore point to the very top so it's done before anything else is done at this point. So now that we have it there we'll click OK to save it. Another thing that I like to do, since I'm assuming we're working in an open change environment or change management window, I am going to create a new task, not a fixlet, but a task. And this task is basically going to reboot any endpoint that requires a reboot. So we'll type reboot endpoint here. We'll add this to the domain of patch management. And we'll give it a quick description. Basically, we're going to reboot any endpoint, but only if it, the endpoint requires it. So we'll figure out how to do that in a second. So rebooting a Windows endpoint is quite simple. <coughs> Inside of the action statement, uh, if you start typing restart, the system will help you figure out the command restart space 60. <coughs> By default, you have to give it at least 60 seconds. And the relevancy here, we're going to add a relevancy clause. We're not going to use true. What we're actually going to say is pending restart. So only endpoints that actually need a restart will restart. And under properties, we'll just give it a category of tools. Download side is not applicable. A quick review of everything. Make sure it's looking like we want. We'll hit OK to save it. Now that we have it saved, we basically want to add this to our existing baseline, just like we did with the... We do want to add this to the baseline, but before we do that, I wanted to show you. If I go to Take Action, and we actually move over because I made this a task and not a fixlet, notice that it has this selection. All lines have completed successfully. That's one of the minor differences between a fixlet and a task, is how Big Fix interprets how the task works. So again, let's right-click this and add it to our baseline. Go down, Add to Existing Baseline. We'll add it to our new baseline. The baseline comes up, we look at the components, and obviously we probably want to do the reboot before anything else. So let's move this to the very top. So any endpoint that starts in our change management window, we'll first do a reboot, then do a system restore, and then start doing our patching. But I also like to do one other thing here, and I'm actually going to go back to that reboot task, and I'm going to add it to the baseline again. Again, since this uh, task will only operate on machines that need a reboot. In this case, I'm going to move it all the way to the bottom of our baseline. So we have it at the top and also all the way at the bottom of the baseline. So if once the patches are installed, if any of those patches required a reboot, it would be able to do the reboot again before I ended my change window. So again, we just move it all the way to the bottom of our baseline. Do a quick review of the baseline. Everything looks good. Got default actions running. I click it OK to save it. We're going to save it out. And if we notice, we already have applicable computers. So why don't we just fire this off from our test site here. And we're going to validate that all our fixlets and baselines work as required before we move it along into QA and prod. So for a quick summary, when we're creating our baselines, we can go to the Big Fix Labs, use the patching wizard, simply selecting the patch site we want to work with, a date slash year that we want to work with. We could also sort this by applicable computer, so we're only targeting machines that have applicable patches. Optionally, you can create your filter, such as critical, as I had shown. We create our baseline, and then we go in there and we can add optional components, such as system restore point, and obviously reboot if required. Thank you for watching.